Thanks for clicking on this video. My name's Darren and this is Electro Savvy, where we talk about electricity, tools, and tech. I'm gonna go over something that I found on a job that was very dangerous. Someone thought they were cheating the system and all they really did was create something very dangerous. I didn't have my camera with me on the job, but I can recreate how dangerous this is. And all it's gonna take is a metal box with a metal cover. So I got called to a job. The homeowner said that they tried to plug something into their outside receptacle and they got shocked. And um, they said they never got shocked before and I asked them, I said, well, did you change anything? Did you do anything recently? And of course you get, no, no, everything's been the same. So I said, everything. well, have you ever used the outside receptacle before? Oh yeah, yeah, we've used it plenty of times. Okay, it's hard to get homeowners to tell you what's really wrong. I like to question the person and get as much knowns as possible where I can figure out and pinpoint what the problem is. The main takeaway here was that they bought this house. It was an older house. They've lived in it for two years and they have been doing upgrades to it. And they hired a shade tree electrician, you know, someone that's not certified, maybe had a little electrical knowledge or whatever. This is an old house now. We're talking about an old house with two prong receptacles. So what he did was he upgraded it to newer three prong receptacles with a ground because a two prong receptacle does not have a ground. So he updates it to the three prong outlets. And what does he do? He stabs a bare ground into the, the back of the outlet on the neutral side and he wraps a little pigtail and lands it under the ground terminal. The hot goes where it needs to go, the neutral is where it needs to go. But he's got a little pigtail that is wrapped from the neutral to the grounding terminal. And then he just installed it just like that. Each box does not actually have a ground. There's no ground. I guess he's got himself in a rush or whatever. Well, somehow he reverses the hot and the neutral. And what does it do? It energizes the ground. And since there's no natural ground anywhere in the house, it doesn't trip a breaker. No, what it does is energize the metal box and the metal cover. So when they kneel down and put their knee in the damp ground and open the box to plug the cord up, it shocked the shit out of them. Today we're gonna to show you why that is so dangerous and what you can do to avoid that. So this is the trick that's gonna fool the cube tester. Here, I'm just adding the wire that I'm going to pull power off of this receptacle right underneath this metal box. And I'm installing this outlet correct. So neutral goes to the neutral side and the black hot goes to the brass side. Then I'm gonna fold the wires up and install the receptacle. Now that I have the modified mistake receptacle, I'm gonna add the metal weatherproof cover without the gasket. That's how I found it. And honestly, it wouldn't make a difference because the metal screw bonds the cover to the box. All right, so I'm going to remove this receptacle with my screw gun and I'm going to add the 14-2 from the receptacle up above. Here I'm stripping it out and then you're going to see I'm going to clip off the ground because there's no ground in this application. Then I'm stripping it out. I'm going to make my hooks for the terminals. I 
if you look real close, I'm gonna put the neutral on the neutral side of the outlet, but there is a black wire there. So it's already a hot reverse. And I think this is where the mistake was made. And then the black wire on the hot side, but there is a neutral there. So the neutral, the existing neutral there is wrong. In the video, you can clearly see that I am crisscrossing the colored wires. And what I'm trying to recreate is what I found at this house. I guess whenever he put in the receptacles, he put a black and a white on each side of the outlet. All right, so this is a hot reverse. Even though the wires will be connected correctly on the other end, his white wire is gonna be the hot wire and his black wire is gonna be the neutral. Okay, so the breaker's on. The outlet is still reading an open ground. Now, this metal box is hot. So don't touch. Here, you see I have gloves on. As long as I don't ground out, I don't really have to worry about much, but my cube tester is reading correct. That's not correct. It didn't even pick up that it was a reverse hot. And that's what's disturbing. But here you can see that I'm going to take my meter, turn it on. I've got this extension cord here because I'm going to use the ground from it to test out this cover. But the cube tester is still showing green. And that means correct. So here I'm stabbing in my lead on the ground of the extension cord plugged in to another circuit. And I am getting a reading from this energized cover, screw and cover, anything metal that I touch is going to be reading 123 volts. And that's because the entire metal housing is hot now. Here you can see I'm testing the outlet, the neutral side, and it is hot. That Klein cube tester failed. This is a GFCI three prong receptacle and is the only correct solution if you plan on using the existing circuitry here in this project. Alright, so this is the fix. Remember to always put the power on the line side. I'm going to go ahead and speed through it. This is without a ground, but this is how you fix a two-wire system. Okay, I'm going to grab that white neutral and put it on the silver screw and the black on the brass screw, which is the hot side. Then I'm gonna stuff this in the box real nice and screw it down. Next, I'm gonna grab that decor cover plate, tighten it down nice and snug, not too tight though, and then I'm done with this GFCI. And remember not to reverse your hot. Okay, here I'm just pointing out that green LED light, meaning that this GFCI is working correctly. And I'm testing out the reset and trip button. Last but not least, I'm adding the GFCI sticker to let you know that this is a GFCI protected receptacle. So that was an interesting one. I just wanted to show you in this video how dangerous that little cheater trick can be. To make a long story short, basically the hot came in contact with the neutral and it energized the white 
So all he really did was change the color of the wires. So leaving out of that box, the white wire was the hot now and the black wire was the neutral. Well, when he got to that box, he actually hooked it up correct, but it, it wasn't correct coming out the house. So what, what did he do? What did he do? <laughs> he energized the metal box and the metal cover because he did the little cheat thing, stabbed that receptacle on the neutral side and did his little ground loop on the grounding lug and it energized the box. Well, they lived in it two years. They could have walked there, you know, with shoes or whatever, but that specific day, she knelt down one knee on the ground, braced up on the wall and opened the outlet and got shocked. So that's what we're dealing with. This is a lesson to everyone to not always trust meters and electric measuring devices because I don't know if you noticed in this video, I knew it was gonna show correct. That little trick with the ground thing, it will actually make that Klein cube tester read correct. Yeah, that was pretty disturbing to see that a Klein cube tester that can test quite a few things. What I'm saying is it shouldn't have been reading correct, even with a hot reverse neutral. And it was. Well, that GFCI, that's the way to go. If you want to upgrade from a two prong receptacle to a three prong, I would definitely consider that. And hopefully, um, you know, your house is not wired like the old way where each receptacle had its own individual wire. Because if it's looped through the wall, put one receptacle in and on the load side, it's gonna protect all the other receptacles and you'll save a lot of money that way. All right, guys, so that's just about it for this video. I hope you learned something important in this video. Not to trust every piece of equipment thoroughly verify what you're working on and what is going on and um, that's going to be about it my name's darren this is electro savvy and i'll see you in the next video all right